Hey everybody, so this is a new series that I'm really excited about and it doesn't really have to do with beauty or fashion or anything like that, but I really feel that if you're comfortable with your body and who you are, then you're just going to feel more beautiful yourself and who you are and you're just going to feel more comfortable. So this is why I'm making a series of videos and they're going to be called the Beautiful Body Series and I'm going to concentrate on like exercise, fitness, um, like healthy diet and eating, um, like vegan stuff, like just kind of all encompassed into one. So if you think this is something that you'd be interested in, um, just keep watching. So today's video is going to be on creating your own exercise regime. Um, I'm really big on exercise and, you know, trying to get it in as much as possible, especially for people who are busy. Um, I just wanted to do a really quick disclaimer that I'm not a professional and, um, you know, this is just stuff that has worked for me and it's really important that you either consult a doctor or, um, you know, if you're under 18, talk to your parents before you really start any kind of intense exercise. However, the stuff I'm going to discuss now isn't really intense and you can do on your own. Uh, this, like I said, stuff that's worked for me and it may not work for everybody, but I just thought I'd share it with you you guys so that was my little disclaimer um so I wanted to talk about how to start your own exercise routine if you're not doing anything now um just doing little things throughout the day will help you burn more ca burn more calories and feel better about yourself overall so um I think well what I do is three different kinds of exercise and it's cardio weights and stretching and cardio um I do three to four times a week 20 minute intervals and weights I do every other day and stretching I do every day, morning and night, and before and after if I go running. So I just wanted to talk about these, however, I'm going to be doing videos on each separate um, different kind of exercise individually to show you what I do for it and stuff like that so you can get some ideas. So that will be in another video. This is just kind of an overview. So I just wanted to talk about short spurts of exercise. Um, you know, I know we all don't have a lot of time to, you know, do like an hour before work or an hour after or school or whatever. And it's really hard for me to do that too. You know, I'm not going to wake up an hour earlier to in order to exercise because I like my sleep and I, I'm just not that motivated. And I know a lot of you, um, you know, either aren't motivated or you just don't feel that you have the time. But with the stuff that I'm going to tell you, you really do have time to do it. Um... And if you do short spurts rather than um, just like a long, intense workout, then you're more likely to um, to actually follow through and you burn more calories when you do it at more intervals because you're more likely to do it more often. And it's really important to set small goals for yourself. Don't be like, oh, I'm going to, you know, run for a mile, you know, just out of nowhere. You know, just start with really small goals. And I have a list of things that I think are really good exercises that you can begin with and that will burn calories and that will just get you up off the couch and things that you can do really quick. So a couple things I have is um, if you have some dogs, just, you know, walk them around the block or, you know, walk them as much as you want. Um, that's a really great thing to, like, get out of the house, get them out of the house, get them fit, and you fit as well. Um, if you don't have animals, um, well, dogs, <laughs> don't know what other animals you would walk, you know, your turtle, but um, then you can just, you know, take a 10-minute walk, you know, before you eat your dinner or something at night or whenever you have the chance, um, you know, take the stairs instead of the elevator. Um, that's something that I like never do, but I should be doing more. Um, during commercials, this is a big one. This is one I do a lot. Um, I was a huge fast forwarder through all the commercials, but um, what I do now is when the commercials come on, I um, either just stand there and walk in place or I do some crunches or some push-ups or, um, or some, you know, like lunges, really anything you want to do, just kind of mix it up. And at the end of like a half hour program, um, you've gotten like 15 minutes of exercise in and during an hour program that's like 20 minutes so I mean that's really great and you know a lot of us you know have our shows that we watch and if we do it during the commercials then that's getting a lot of good exercise in um well what I do also is before I shower every night I'll do like 50 crunches and 10 push-ups because I think oh you know I'm just gonna go have a shower anyway and I'm not gonna do it after I have a shower because then I'll get all sweaty and gross so I'm just gonna do it now so um, I think that's a really good thing and that kinda gets you motivated because then you're just gonna go have a nice shower or a bath or whatever you do so uh, that's also something I do and it doesn't take very long at all um, 
Also, another thing that really can get you motivated to start walking more is um, to buy a pedometer, and it counts your steps. It can tell you like how many calories you burned, how many miles you've walked, and it's really interesting to see how much you walk, and then you just want to increase it so that you know it looks better. And they're they're like really cheap. They, you can get them for like five dollars at Walmart or you know anything like that. And they actually were giving them away recently. At, I think like McDonald's or Burger King. I saw it on a commercial in like their meals, which you know that's kind of ironic, but. Um, yeah, so you can really get them anywhere, and those are really great motivators for you to, you know, see how many steps you do. It's really interesting. Um, another thing that's very important with exercise is write it down. Either schedule it in to, um, you know, whatever, um, like, planning system that you have. Write down that you're going to do it, or write down after you do it, and this is important for many reasons. First, you're more likely to do things that you write down, and it's important to acknowledge your goals. When you have done something, either checking it off or writing it down after will make you feel better about accomplishing a really small goal. And it might seem small to everyone else, but it's big for you if you've never, you know, really exercised before. And, you know, every little step is worth it. Nothing, you know, is wasted. And, um, it's, it's just really important to write it down, and also you will be able to, um, if you like go online and stuff like that, you, you'll be able to count the calories later that you burned, and so you'll be able to see how much you're burning, and if you write what you eat, how much you're taking in, and that sort of stuff. So that's kind of important. Um, and also what I do is I use stickers. Um, it's a total, you know, like elementary thing to do, but um, if you have a calendar or whatever, just put stickers on the day that you did exercise, and you know, it'll make you feel better, and it'll kind of make you feel bad, but you know, if you don't have a sticker for that day, but it'll motivate you to do it more. Like just silly stickers like these, or um, these are nice too. I use them um, to color co code each kind of exercise, and I put a dot when I've done um, that kind for the day. So, um, so, so that's a really easy idea to get you more motivated to get up and get out. Um, for cardio, for me, what I do is, um, like I said, three to four times a week, 20 minute spurts, either on a treadmill or uh, going running or a stationary bike, or, you know, you can bike outside, um, just trying to get your heart rate up and just trying to get you, you know, out there and doing that. And that's important to do, um, three to four times a week, you know, you know, you can start off with two times a week, one time a week, you know, whatever is good for you. This is something, you know, I have worked up to three to four times a week. I didn't start that way. But, um, yeah, so that's really important. Um, another thing that I do is, um, I either record on the TV. It's, uh, Fit TV. Uh, I've, it's like in the hundreds channels if you get Comcast. And you can record, um, different TV programs that, um, that will do an aerobic exercise with you. And you can do that, you know, in the comfort of your home. Um, or they have DVDs you can get. I have, like, the Dancing with the Stars ones that you can do. And those are a lot of fun to do. Especially, like, with your girlfriends or whatever. So, that can be something that you might be interested in also. Um, for weights, I'm going to include that in another video because that's like a whole other thing itself. But um, I use 10 pound weights. I started off with 5, so that kind of gives you the idea of, if, if you know, the kind of weight that you could be using. Um, and I do yoga. That's what I do for my stretching. I do that in the morning when I wake up, just a couple minutes, and then I do it at night before I go to bed. Again, you know, it depends how long I, I do it. Night's usually longer than the morning because I usually have more time at night. Um, and also another thing that I do, and this is going to be awesome in another video, is reward yourself with a healthy snack. After you have completed every 20 minutes of exercise, reward yourself with a healthy snack. And that's going to help you, uh, you know, become more motivated and it'll help you keep your, um, your energy and your calories up. So, um, that's something I do. Or, you know, just, you know, have like a, some orange juice or, you know, some carrots, you know, something, you know, really light and easy. Um, the last thing that I just wanted to say about this is I know a lot of you, like me, um, work hourly, like you're um, an hourly employee, so your schedule changes from week to week. So that can be really difficult when trying to schedule an exercise. So um, what I recommend that you do is schedule exercise, um, your heavy exercise, on days when you don't work. Like for example, for me, I go to school um, all Tuesday and all Thursday, but from like 4 o'clock on, I don't have work those days, so I know I don't have work those days, and school is always at the same time, so I can schedule my heavy workouts after four on those days, because those, those are the days I have off. For most, most people, it'll be Saturday or Sunday, or, you know, whatever it is for you, and um, 
Also, if you have specific days off, those are days that you can take classes. If you want to, you know, go to a gym and take a class, like a spinning class or, you know, take a yoga class or something like that so that you have that routine every week that you're going to that class. So that's also a good idea to do if um, you feel so inclined. So that's pretty much my tips. If anyone has any questions, please feel free to ask. And I really appreciate all of your input. Um, I'm going to be making more videos on these topics, so let me know what you think. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Bye, everyone.